All right, welcome back to the uh, voting section of the meeting. So I'm going to remind the, the voting members that uh, at this time they should open their video cameras um, because our vote is done by video. Um, and what we will do is um, we will call the vote on each of the five questions that we have. Um, as we will allow for comment, but we'll hold that comment to the very end so that we can go through all the votes first um, and then turn our attention to any comments that you wish to make. And um, at the time of your vote, uh, please also state whether you have a conflict or not. Um, so, uh, shall we proceed, Dr. Cohn? Yes, we are ready to uh, start with the Dengue vote. Okay. And Gabriela, I don't know. Um, I don't know if you're on the phone or not, but um, I'm happy to go ahead and read the language. Or if you're there, you can go ahead and read it. What was the motion? Next slide. I, I am here. Great. Amanda. We're pulling up the next slide. Great. So go you ahead. would like me to read through it? Yes. ACIP recommends three doses of Benvaxia administered six months apart at months 0, 6, and 12 in persons 9 to 16 years of age with a laboratory confirmation of previous dengue infection and living in endemic areas. Thank you very much for reading that. All right, we'll proceed with the vote starting from the top uh, with Dr. Alt. Alt, yes, no conflicts. Ms. Bata. Bata, yes, no conflicts. Dr. Bernstein. Hank Bernstein, yes, no conflicts. Dr. Chen. Chen, yes, no conflicts. Dr. Daly. Uh, Matt Daly, yes, no conflicts. Dr. Fry. Dr. Fry, you Fry, may... yes, no conflict. Thank you, Dr. Fry. Dr. Cotton. Cotton, yes, no conflict. Lee, Dr. Lee. Lee, no conflict, yes. Dr. Long. Long, yes, no conflict. Ms. McNally. McNally, no conflict, yes. Dr. Paling. Paling, no conflict, yes. Dr. Sanchez. Yes, no conflict, yes. Dr. Talbot. Talbot, no conflict, yes. Romero, no conflicts, yes. Dr. Cohen, I have 14 affirmatives. I have the same thing, so the motion passes. Thank you very much. We'll move on now to the dengue virus. Uh, uh, vaccines for children. Yeah, vaccines for children, but sorry. I, I had the initials down here. <laughs> I shouldn't have forgotten it. Um, Jeannie, I can go ahead and just read this. Uh, this is uh, to vote uh, that the ACIP approves the VFC resolution for dengue vaccines. Thank you. Um, so we're going to start in reverse order this time. Uh, again, uh, start naming any conflicts that you might have. Uh, Dr. Talbot. Talbot, no conflicts, yes. Dr. Sanchez. Sanchez, no conflict, yes. Dr. Paling. Paling, no conflict, yes. Ms. McNally. McNally, no conflict, yes. Dr. Long. Did you say Long? Long, I'm sorry, I did not enunciate. Uh, Dr. Long. No, no, I, I can't do reverse um, outfit. Uh, <laughs> no conflict, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Dr. Lee. Lee, no conflict, yes. Dr. Cotton. Cotton, no conflict, yes. Dr. Fry. 
cry, no conflicts, yes. Dr. Daly. Daly, no conflicts, yes. Dr. Chen. Chen, no conflicts, yes. Dr. Bernstein. Frank Bernstein, no conflicts, yes. Dr. Bata. I'm sorry, Ms. Bata. Ms. Bata, no conflicts, yes. Dr. Alt. Alt, no conflicts, yes. Romero, no conflicts, yes. Dr. Cohn, I have 14 affirmatives. 14-0, uh, the motion passes. Very good, thank you very much. Um, those of you that were here when Dr. Temet was uh, chair know that uh, we used to be able to start in the middle and go around the other way, but, but we don't have that luxury today, so we will just uh, move on to the next vote. Um, and so uh, the next vote then is the influenza uh, vaccines vote. Um, Lisa, are you on the line? Yes. I am, can you hear me? Yes, go ahead and read. Hello? Yes, we can. Go ahead, please. Thank you. Um, ACIP affirms the updated statement, Prevention and Control of Seasonal Influenza with Vaccines, Recommendations of the Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices, United States 2021-22 Influenza Season. Very good. Uh, so again, we'll start from the top and uh, work our way through. Uh, again, stating any conflicts you may have. Dr. Alt. Alt, no conflicts, yes. Ms. Bata. Bata, no conflicts, yes. Dr. Bernstein. Frank Bernstein, no conflicts, yes. Dr. Chen. Chen, no conflicts, yes. Dr. Daly. Daly, no conflicts, yes. Dr. Fry. Fry, no conflicts, yes. Dr. Cotton. Cotton, no conflicts, yes. Dr. Lee. Lee, no conflicts, yes. Dr. Long. Long, no conflicts, yes. Ms. McNally. McNally, no conflicts, yes. Dr. Paling. Paling, no conflicts, yes. Dr. Sanchez. Sanchez, no conflict, yes. Dr. Talbot. Talbot, no conflict, yes. Romero, no conflicts, yes. Dr. Cohn, we have 14 yeses and zero noes. Uh, yes, so the motion passes uh, unanimously, and we can move on to the vaccines for children. So this is the influenza vaccines for children's resolution. So the language is ACIP approves the VFC resolution for influenza vaccines. Very good. Uh, we'll start uh, from the bottom up this time. Again, Dr. Talbot, uh, name and uh, conflict of interest. Talbot, no conflict, yes. Yeah. You can refrain from doing conflict of interest this time around if you prefer. There we go. All right, Dr. Sanchez. Sanchez, no conflict, yes. Okay. Dr. Paling. Paling, no conflicts, yes. Okay, Dr. Uh, Ms. McNally. McNally, no conflicts, yes. Dr. Long. Long, no conflict, yes. Dr. Lee. Lee, no conflicts, yes. Dr. Cotton. Cotton, no conflicts, yes. Dr. Fry. Fry, no conflicts, yes. Dr. Daly. Daly, no conflicts, yes. Dr. Chen. Chen, no conflicts, yes. Dr. Bernstein. Bernstein, no conflicts, yes. Ms. Bata. Bata, no conflicts, yes. Dr. Alt. Alt, no conflicts, yes. Romero, no conflicts, yes. 
Dr. Eric Cohen, 14 affirmatives, no nays. Uh, thank you, the motion passes. Very good. So now we'll go on to the rabies uh, vote. And would you prefer us to vote on each of these individually or can we uh, do them as a group? These can be voted on together as a group. Uh, Dr. Rao can read the language, please. Yes. Um, ACIP recommends a two-dose, zero, seven days intramuscular rabies vaccine series in immunocompetent persons less than 18 years of age for whom rabies vaccine pre-exposure prophylaxis prep is indicated. And then the second one is ACIP recommends an intramuscular booster dose of rabies vaccine as an alternative to a titer check for immunocompetent persons less than 18 years of age who have sustained an elevated risk for only recognized rabies exposures, i.e. those in risk category number three of the rabies prep recommendations table. The booster dose should be administered no sooner than day 21, but no later than three years after the two dose prep series. Very good. So we'll begin the vote again. Uh, at this time, you do not have to uh, state any conflicts. Now they do? Uh, sorry. Okay, so now we have, do we do have to state our, our, our conflict of interest. Here we go. So, uh, Dr. Alt, please vote and conflict of interest. Alt, no conflicts, yes. Thank you. Ms. Bata. Bata, no conflicts, yes. Thank you. Dr. Bernstein. Okay, Bernstein, no conflicts, yes. Dr. Chen. Chen, no conflicts, yes. Dr. Daly. Daly, no conflicts, yes. Dr. Fry. Fry, no conflicts, yes. Dr. Cotton. Cotton, no conflicts, yes. Dr. Lee. Lee, no conflicts, yes. Dr. Long. Long, no conflict, yes. Ms. McNally. McNally, no conflict, yes. Dr. Paling. Paling, no conflict, yes. Dr. Sanchez. Sanchez, no conflict, yes. Dr. Talbot. Talbot, no conflict, yes. Romero, no conflicts, yes. Dr. Cohen, 14 affirmatives, no, ne no nays. The motion passes. Thank you very much. That ends uh, all the votes. Um, does anyone wish to make any comments? Uh, Dr. Alt. I was thinking while we were listening to the Dengue uh, presentation that we really need to hear back from the working group after as this is getting implemented. I'm finishing my third year on the group and there's so many unique aspects to how that vaccine, the screening and the geography and the stakeholder input. I, I'd really like to hear back and I know these meetings are very crowded and certainly I've come to appreciate that after three years, but I would really like that to be a priority, uh, you know, as this gets rolling in Puerto Rico. Thank you. Dr. Daly. Um, yeah, my comment was related to dengue vaccination as well, which is just that I would um, uh, appreciate um, special attention to what's defined as laboratory confirmation within the dengue MMWRX. I mean, I'm sure it's going to be there, but I don't want somebody to, to take that out of context for what the listed approved uh, uh, lab tests are. Over. Thank you. Dr. Bernstein. I also wanted to comment about the dengue vaccine. I think that uh, uh, lots of information and it should be recommended for uh, endemic areas. But I must admit that initially I was thinking that shared de uh, de uh, clinical decision making was the way to go, particularly with many of the elements of the evidence to recommendations listed as probably by the uh, work group. On the other hand, while it sounds like uh, this vaccine will require complex implementation with education and communication for families and uh, providers alike as uh, the keys. Uh, I, I felt that universal recommendation 
is likely to make this implementation a bit easier. So that's why I shifted from shared clinical decision making to a universal recommendation. Thank you, Dr. In Bernstein. endemic areas. Thank you, Dr. Bernstein. Uh, Dr. Long, please. Yes, my comment is really about uh, the rabies uh, vaccine recommendations. You know, when you have such big stakes, it makes it harder to reduce a vaccine schedule. And we're frequently accused of only adding and never taking away. But with the careful data that was gathered, and I appreciate very much uh, the data that was gathered on children and was surprised and, and happy to see that there was quite a bit. So I'm very comfortable with this, and I am very happy that every once in a while we can do this. Are there any other comments? Um, I'm not sure if this was the most votes on a single day. I, I'll leave somebody to, to look up the stats on that, but uh, congratulations on uh, accomplishing a very uh, data intense day and making um, six uh, votes. Um, this uh, draws to end our day for, uh, for, for this uh, session. Uh, we have a third day tomorrow, um, the final day, which will uh, begin at uh, 10 a.m. Um, and is scheduled to adjourn at uh, one in the afternoon. So again, it's good seeing your faces uh, once again. Um, I hope we will see each other all in person. Uh, please take care of yourselves and we'll see our, we'll listen to each other again tomorrow. Thank you. So the meeting is adjourned for the day. Thank you everyone.